Filmed like an action blockbuster, the Houthi helicopter, emblazoned in the Yemeni and Palestinian flags, approaches its target. It's unclear if the Galaxy Leader's crew has any idea of what's happening. The helicopter touches down and out pour the assault team. They fan out across the top deck in matching fatigues and balaclavas. It doesn't take them long to get into the bridge and the sailors inside have no chance. This is one of the last known locations of the Galaxy Leader as it made its way through the Red Sea. Yemen's Houthi rebels say they've seized the cargo vessel and it's now at a Yemeni port. They've stated that all Israeli-linked vessels are at risk. The Yemeni armed forces reiterate their warning to all ships affiliated with the Israeli enemy or those dealing with it that they will become legitimate targets for the armed forces. Hamas has thanked the Houthis for the hijacking and for support in its fight against Israel. This is a welcome step from the Yemeni forces, and I believe that the size of the Zionist crime committed in Gaza makes every loyalist eager to defend and support the Palestinian people with all he can. For Israel, this incident is part of a Iranian-orchestrated continuum of conflict, taking in Hamas in the occupied Palestinian territories, Hezbollah in Lebanon, and the Houthis in Yemen, all groups that Israel sees as proxies to a greater or lesser extent of Tehran. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office says this is another act of Iranian terrorism, which expresses a leap forward in Iran's aggression against the citizens of the free world and creates international implications regarding the security of global shipping lanes. Iran has denied it had anything to do with the hijacking, but Israeli security watchers are worried about its implications for international shipping. This is uh, intended to open a new front in addition to Lebanon in order to divert attention from uh, Gaza or divert resources. But um, it is not in the Houthis' interest. Also, the American Fifth Fleet is operating there. They have a base in uh, Somali too. Um, so uh, it's in everyone's uh, interest to calm down in the Red Sea. The reverberations from Hamas's attacks of October the 7th and Israel's war on Gaza are being felt throughout the region. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.